Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be trying some new makeup products and showing you guys how I achieve this look. The products and the brands that I'm trying will be in the description, in the title and everything. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. In this video, I feel like I'm not really explain, I didn't explain things very well, but it's because I'm kind of rusty. Like I haven't filmed in time, so I'm feeling a bit, you know, a bit rusty, but we move. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna start with the primer. This is the Pore Minimizing Primer. I don't really prime. I used to prime, but I stopped ages ago. Like I don't remember the last time I primed. It's an interesting texture. I think it feels greasy. Kind of scared because as you guys can see my skin. This is so weird. Anyway, my skin is going through it recently. Because I've been going through it. This texture is so weird. It's like a cross between a gel and, a, and an oil. Anyway, moving on. So they sent me foundation, which is the Illuminating Liquid Foundation. Kind of scared about the coverage, especially because my skin is bugging right now. So I need a lot of coverage. I'm gonna use this brush. It's quite small compared to my normal foundation brush. This is my usual foundation brush. Well, we move. I don't know, I don't know, the brushes aren't like labeled, so I don't know which one is for which, but this looks like the most foundation-y brush. I'm really scared about the shade match of this. Uh-uh. Okay. Please don't tell me it drips. No. No, Cleo. Yeah. This is too dark for me. I don't like the smell of it. it. Smells like paint. But it has good coverage though. I mean, maybe that's because it's too dark for me, but it does have like decent coverage so far. I'm gonna mix it with another foundation. Let me get my foundation. I'm gonna mix it with my NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation. Yeah. This brush is tiny. Yeah, so I won't be able to give like a fair review of the foundation because I am mixing it. So I don't know how these two formulas will work together, but let's see. They sent me this brow thing. It looks like it will be too foundation on my hand, sorry. It looks like it will be too um, light for my eyebrows, but let's give it a whirl. This is the night when no no Gonna use their angled brush. Let's see if it does anything to my brows. Yeah, I kind of like it. Like, I thought it would be too light, but I kind of like it, actually. Okay, so they didn't send... They sent me concealer, but let me show you guys the concealer. This is the concealer that they sent me. As you can see, that shade is very light. Let me just show you guys how it looks anyway. Yeah, it's, like, really light, and it's also... It's bright pink. Like, I was going to use it as, like, an under-eye brightener kind of vibe. But it's pink, so yeah. Like it's, I don't know if you guys can see that. Hold on. But it's literally pink. So I don't know who is using that. Maybe Peppa Pig or something, but not me. Yeah, this is their illuminating under eye concealer. Or um, more, I don't know who can use this concealer because it's so pink. I'm gonna conceal my eyebrows with the LA Girl concealer as usual. And I'm using this kind of flat, flat brush too. Cause it's so bright, you can't see it properly, but yeah. Now 
Like I said, they didn't send me a concealer in my shade, just that pink concealer. So I'm gonna use my usual concealer routine, which is the Makeup Revolution concealers. I'm gonna use this flat brush to blend the concealer a little bit. Okay. Then, now I'm going to take my Too Faced concealer Okay, so they didn't send me any contour or, well, they sent me a bronzer actually, but as you can see, it's not bronzing nothing on me, so, <laughs> um, yeah, but you can tell, this ain't finna bronze nothing on me, so I don't know what I'm gonna use this for, but maybe like an eyeshadow, like a transition color, but yeah. So, I'm gonna use my usual cream contour. I don't know, I say cream contour, but this is like, quite a warm shade so to me it's like cream bronzer then I'm gonna blend the concealer out a little bit so they sent me like four beauty blenders they're so cute To blend my contour, I usually just use my foundation brush, but they sent me these two brushes, and I feel like I should use one of them for my contour. Come on. I feel like this one because it's kind of angled, yeah. I've been meaning to get a brush that has this kind of shape because, I don't know, I feel like it would just make my contour hit different. <gasps> I forgot to contour there. Oh well. Something what? Okay, now I'm gonna blend out. What should I blend first? I'm gonna blend here first. The sponge. I love this sponge. It's so soft. I like this sponge. I like that. I'm gonna put a little bit of white concealer because you guys know I like a bright under eye. Just a little bit. They didn't send me powder, like setting powder or like face powder. So I'm just gonna use my usual products, Fenty and my, where is it? Where is it? Studio Fix powder in NW45. I showed you guys the bronzer, but it's too light, so I decided to try the Makeup Revolution Glow bronzer. This has been out for eight. Mm, it's also nice. This has been out for ages, but I just never got around to trying it. So yeah, I'm gonna try it for the first time today. I'm scared because it looks really cool toned. I don't know if you guys can tell. It look, it looks lighter on camera, but it's dark. Trust me. But yeah, I'm kind of scared because. It looks cool toned and this, I don't like cool tone. I don't contour, do you know what I mean? I like bronze, so. This is in the shade deep, so, just in case you're wondering what shade I got. This thing looks mad cool tone. 
Yo. No. No, 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 no. That is contour. That is not bronzer. I'm really disappointed. Don't know why I had hope. I should have known from when I saw it. Yeah, do you see that? Hmm. One more. Yeah, I'm never using that. Never using that. I'm very disappointed. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Gonna be using their eyeshadow palette. Looks really cute. I already have an idea of the look I wanna create today. They don't have any like darker browns, like, I don't know if you guys can see, but yeah, they don't have any dark browns. So I'm gonna have to use some of my other stuff to create the look that I want. But yeah, I'm trying to give like a smoky, kind of smoky, sultry, glam look. Okay, so for my transition color, I'm gonna use the bronzer that they sent me um, because they don't have any like browns that I would even this one is it's not even doing nothing for me okay i'm not using this mm, i'm gonna use my makeup revolution palette because she my down bitch like she's always there for me so i'm just gonna use the brown just to carve out my crease a little bit i like this brush for the crease i haven't done eyeshadow in ages like a detailed actually no my last Instagram post was, but since then I've worn makeup, since January, I've worn makeup like once, yeah, one time, I think. Is that true? I think, yeah, so I think so, yeah, one time when I went out with my friend like earlier this week and I didn't really do eyeshadow. I don't know why I haven't been doing that because I just don't have time and, um, just been going through life so i'm taking the makeup revolution bronzer i'm going to use that to deepen my crease a little bit making it a bit darker i'm going to try and like wing it out because i want like a foxy eye today i'm going to take another brush yeah this is kind of like it's a brush in it <laughs> And I'm gonna use that to blend it a little bit because the lines are a bit harsh. I feel like I'm not explaining anything. It's because I haven't I haven't done a video in ages, so I'm just feeling a bit, you know, rusty. I'm gonna use this this golden color here for my lid. I'm gonna take a flat brush. I feel like it would be, probably be better with my finger, but let's try the brush. Okay. Okay, this is, this is not really the colour that I thought it was going to be, but it's still pretty, so we move. Wow, I actually really like this eyeshadow. I, not that I thought it would be rubbish, but I wasn't expecting much from it, to be honest. Because, like, it's so hard to get, like, shimmer eyeshadows that actually pick up on a brush well and apply well. Like, you always end up having to use your fingers or wet the brush, but... This is actually, okay, that's what's up. I have hooded eyes, so I can't show. <sighs> I'm trying to show you guys that my eyes lid, but it's so hard. Can you see? I'm taking it all the way out. So it's giving like fake cut crease kind of vibes. I don't remember the last time I even did a cut crease, like an actual cut crease, because ain't nobody got time, you know? So they sent me some eyeliners. This one is a cold pencil eyeliner, and this one is a long wear eyeliner. Ooh, I don't know which one to use, but I want to do like something kind of dark, you know, kind of, you know? So I'm going to line my waterline with this. I must say though, I'm really liking my base today. Like, 
I don't know if it's the combination of the foundations, but how do people do this? I never wear eyeliner, so how do people line their eyes with pencil? I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna like smoke out that line with a brown, the bronzer, or the, yeah. For my lash line, I'm gonna like tight line it, I guess. But I don't like to bring it all the way in because I don't like how it makes my eyes look. Ooh, I like that. Then I'm gonna do the same thing, taking the, well, taking the bronzer and just smoking it out. Lashes are on. They sent me a mascara, so I'm gonna use that. The wand is so flimsy. This wand is too flimsy. You could scatter everything. I know earlier I said that they didn't send me a powder, but they did send me a pressed translucent powder. But you know, I like loose powder to set my under eyes, but I'm gonna take this and I'm actually going, I'm actually going to use it to brighten my under eye and see, let's see if it like can be used as a under eye brightening type of vibe. It's a vibe. I mean, I wouldn't use it as like my setting powder for my concealer, but, but it is like, even though it's pressed, you guys can't see it, but it has like a lot of kick back so okay for my inner corner i'm gonna use the gold shade that i used on my eyelid hmm it's not giving what i need it to give i'm gonna use my regular highlighter because they didn't send me one because i need it to be like yeah more golden my inner corner Okay, so they sent me this blush. It looks really cute, so I'm excited to use it. And I'm gonna use this brush. Hopefully it does something for me, because it looks kind of light. <laughs> it's not doing anything. In fact, it's making me look, yeah. Oh, hell no. This is way too light. I'm just gonna use some eyeshadow to blush. But I do like this brush. Okay, that's a lot of blush though. You guys know I over blush all the time, but it's cool because we can blend it out. They didn't send me a lip liner, so I'm just gonna use my regular lip liner. So they sent me two lipsticks. One of them is this pink one. And the other one is this um, kind of red dish. Yeah, it's like a red one. I'm not using the red one today. Um, but I was thinking, what can I do with this pink? Hmm. I think I can apply just a little bit, then put gloss on top, and it'll give me like this pinky kind of lip gloss situation. Let's try it. Hmm. This, it's not really showing up. I thought it would be really, really bright, like, this bright but it's not showing up 
Oh, this doesn't even swatch. It looks like a lip balm. Well, okay. That's disappointing. Let me try the red one. The red one. I mean, it's cute, but it's not, it's not lipstick. Nigeria to the world and to my enemies, but these are my enemies. Okay, so that concludes this makeup look. I hope you guys liked it. I really like how it turned. <laughs> so, you know, final thoughts on the product. Let me lower the brightness because it's just hella bright for no reason. Okay, so my final thoughts on the products. Um, what did I like? I didn't like the Makeup Revolution bronzer. I'm not using this again. Well, I'll be using it as an eyeshadow you know, but not as a bronzer. I really liked the this golden eyeshadow that I used. Um, I'm excited to try the other shimmers. I don't really have much faith in the mattes shades because they all look like too light or too ashy for me. So yeah, the blush was a dub because it was too light for me. I like the translucent pressed powder thingy. I, I won't be using it to set my under eyes, but I will use it as an under eye brightener because I like the the bright little vibe that it's giving me. This concealer, like, I don't know what to do with it because it's literally pink. Like, you guys saw, it's bright pink. I don't know who, like, not even white people can use this. Like, it's pink. It's not even, like, pink undertone. It's pink. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but the lipsticks, these are not lipsticks. I don't know if I misinterpreted. I feel like it would be good to use like when you want to have like a kind of no makeup makeup kind of vibe but that's not me so i actually really like the primer even though it's like oily i really like the primer it says it's pore minimizing i don't know maybe it is i haven't done makeup in a long time so i don't really remember i don't know I like the primer, even though it felt so, it, the texture is so weird. I think I'm gonna be using this because I'm more like, I like it. I like the brow thingy. I like this. I'm definitely gonna be using this. The foundation, I really like it mixed with, I like these two together, my NYX foundation and the Body Collection foundation. I like them together. Like I'm really liking my complexion today. Obviously the bronzer kind of, the Bronze that kind of fucks me up, but we move. And they also sent me, um, what is this? An airbrush finished skin tint. So I feel like this could be good for like no makeup, makeup days. I'm not really that kind of person, so yeah. But I feel like I might use this, maybe. Maybe it could be like, cause I see people use skin tint under their foundation so that they don't have to use as much foundation. So maybe it could be that kind of thing, but I don't know. Let's talk about the brushes. I really like, the brushes. I'm not sure how to pronounce the brand's name. I don't know if it's do I you? Do you? Anyway, everything will be in the description and on the screen and everything. So, but um, yeah, I really like the brushes. I love this blush brush, and I really liked this brush for my bronzer. So I'm definitely going to be using these brushes. Um, and they're really cute as well. Like they've got the little marble. Also, the brushes came with this like thing. I think you use this to clean, to clean brushes that you kind of, so I'm really excited to use this because cleaning brushes is so tedious for me, like it's such a task. So hopefully this makes it easier. I love the sponges, like they're, I use, I use the pink one and it's good, like it's really soft. Um, it does the job, like really nice. You know, I'm, I hate having to wash one, um, wash my beauty blenders. So having more is really nice, really appreciated. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.